Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we have jumped planets. There wasn't really much left that I wanted to do in the last planet, and I kind of made the mistake and jumped to Shadow, which is a Jade Falcon world. Now we don't really have the best relationship with them right now. I was meaning to go ahead and take some more missions for them, but I never did. Uh, so we don't really have a lot we can do here, but there are a few missions I do want to take. Um, so we do have, there's a hard target mission here which we might be able to do. It is Five Skull. Uh, it is Wolf Forces, so I'm not really sure about that one. Pony Express is pretty easy. We're going to take this one first while we're here. Uh, it's for Fire Mandrel. We don't really have a lot, but this is against uh, Clan Wolf. Uh, so we're going to jump right into a contract. Now, oh, actually, before we do that, let's, let me show you really quick. I, don't, I actually can't really show you, but the Orion is getting fixed right now. Um, what's up with the Grand Summoner? So I changed a few things on the max. Uh, Grand Summoner. Um, oh, we never got the hyperlaser fixed. That's what it was. Got to get that fixed. It's not this Grand Summoner I'm thinking of. It's the one with the Ultra 20. So we changed that one slightly. Um, so the Grand Summoner B. Let's refit this guy real quick. So it, the, the Lodo didn't change all that much. We lost the Ultra 20, but it did drop in an Ultra 10 and enough. Uh, ammunition for um, 12 turns of continuous double double uh, shot firing and I upgraded the uh, large improved uh, medium to a large heavy laser to get us a little bit more damage now our heat sinking isn't the greatest uh, we're, we're 10 over it not too bad uh, it's enough to be be able to mitigate um, we can turn a ER medium on and off and that'll That'll uh, pretty much handle that. But everything else remained the same on this mech. Nothing else changed. So we got the Ultra 10 in here now. Uh, recall is going to be uh, pretty much the same as the Ultra 20. And then the Orion, which I can't show you right now. The Orion, what I did is I went with the Risk PPC build. So we've got a pair of Risk PPCs, one in each arm, and an ER large 8 laser in each arm, and enough heat sinking to deal with the whole thing. AMS, all that kind of stuff. So... Um, it's pretty good. Now I pulled the, I left the, the Loki Prime in because it is an Omni mech. We will be running with this guy today just to see how it works out. Um, and I pulled out the Roughneck and the Thunderbolt. So with the exception of the Archers and the Zeus, we're all Omni mechs now, which is great. So, um, and of course the Orion. So let's jump into the battle once this uh, Grand Summoner is back. There we go. Uh, this should pretty much be easy. I understand if you guys want to skip this episode, but this, this should be easy. I want the salvage because we're down to 243,000 and I don't really have much to sell. So I want to get a lot of stuff out of this, hopefully. Um, so let's do it. Now, I, I'm seriously considering doing that AMS protection mech and it might end up being the Loki Prime. Um, I might switch that out uh, with what it's got right now um, to do that. Okay, workhorse, you're going to be on the Hades. All right, let's do this. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Oh, this map. Okay, so they got two support lands plus the vehicle, so we're one and a half to one. I'm already weary of this cold. Yeah, you think? That's the denial zone, huh? All right, well, I guess we just go straight into them. So, um, we ended up crashing on the way down here. Um, and when I say crash, I mean, whenever um, uh, the, the um, game gets to the prepping for combat screen, sometimes it'll just um, not necessarily lock up, but basically it kind of locks up. Um, it just gets to that screen. It just won't, it just doesn't get to the uh, um, begin button. Uh, let's get you. Anyway, so normally what I'll do is I'll just, you know, force quit out and then reload the game. And as I'm reloading, um, I'll generally just jump on YouTube because sometimes it'll take up to five minutes for this thing to... Uh, um, Oh, we're stuck here. Sometimes it'll take up to five minutes for the for the game to load in. Uh, do I want to go up the hill? Nah, I mean, it's at the jump next turn too. Let's go down here. Um, 
So I'll just go to YouTube and then I'll just like find a video that's under five minutes, watch it while I'm waiting for it to load, the game to load in. So I did the same thing this time. And uh, what pops up in my feed at the very top is Cooking with Tourette's. And it's by um, a YouTuber called Tourette's Girl. Um, and I, I've never seen this uh, this uh, YouTuber before, but it's a it's a younger girl. She's probably a, a teenager or early twenties or whatever with Tourette's. And <laughs> and of course, if you if you know what Tourette's is, it's involuntary tics, right? Vocal and physical. Um, so she's making an attempt to make pancakes, and oh my God, it's one of the most hilarious things. This girl. Uh, She's a good sport because Tourette's can be pretty nasty. Oh shoot, we're stuck here. We're outside the map too. You know what? We're gonna go with it. Yeah, that's what I say. Anyway, um, so she's trying to make pancakes and oh my god, it's the funniest thing. Because if you've ever tried to like it's the, the simplest things that we take for granted, pouring flour into a, a measuring cup and pouring it into a, a bowl, right? Or breaking an egg. Or pouring milk into a measuring cup and pouring it into the bowl. When you have Tourette's and involuntary tics, things like that become <laughs> amazingly difficult. Even just like picking up an egg is amazingly difficult. So the whole video is her trying to make her way through making <laughs> these pancakes. And oh my God, it's hilarious. So once again, it's a it's a YouTuber called Tourette's Girl. The video is called Cooking with Tourette's. I suggest you go and watch it because it's funny as hell. And the intention was for it to be funny. So it's not like you know you're laughing at somebody with a disability. The men, the the purpose is that it's supposed to be funny. It's it's comedical, right? See how you can do it. Uh, okay. Well, um, I don't know what to do here. We can get an early tag on. We're gonna do that. Okay, here we go. I'll bring her. Oh, they're weakened armor. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting much from this. Oh, these are the vehicles that are trying to get out. Wow. All right. Engaging target. Well, we'll get some salvage out of this. I'm listening. Mm -hmm, I'm going. They'll most likely get reinforcements on this. Let's just go to five. Well, we didn't really hit him with the tag. Oh well. Yeah, so I mean, it's like I said, it's, it's you're not like you're laughing at somebody with a disability. You're laughing at, at the comedy that they're doing, right? Damage minimal. Let's get you some AMS protection. Um Affirmative. Finish this guy up. Ooh, really? Wow, that's a really good chance. Let's wind it up as far at this guy. Oh, a couple hits. All right. I love people who use, I don't want to say use, that's kind of a bad, that's not what I mean, who who have got what we term as disabilities um, and just, you know, talk about them or make light about them. Uh, there's a comedian, Josh Blue, the guy's absolutely hilarious. He's got a perfect sense of timing. Um, his jokes are hilarious. Um, 
You know, he's just a really funny guy. So I watch him. Let's kill this guy. Um, there's also another gentleman. I can't remember his name. The guy was born blind. Um, ah, man, I wish I could remember his name now. I haven't watched a video of his in quite a while. But he's, he's like, born blind and like absolutely no sight at all, right? But um, he does a lot of... He does YouTube videos, right? And, of course, I mean, like, he can't film himself. He's got someone that films him, but... Um, it's difficult for even even for him to kind of understand a lot of things that sighted people have no problem with. Uh, so you know he'll talk about that. He talks about all kinds of stuff, right? But you know that's kind of cool too, right? This guy's dead. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta take these quick jobs like this to get salvage. What's this guy? Archer. Anyway, yeah, I, uh, I can't remember his name now. I think he's in my... I think I'm subscri subscribed to him on my YouTube channel. I know I've placed l plenty of likes on his videos. Yeah, what can I do you for? Yeah, I just stay there. All right, there's our AMS. Let's get it up a little closer. On my way. Double time. All right. Um, this way. This way. Ooh, wow, that low, hey? Eh? Huh. 23 in the Hellbringer. We'll take it. Keep throwing them. Scored a critical hit. I love, I mean, I love laughing about, um, God, I hate to say disabilities. I just love, I love laughing at, at, at myself. And I love people who can laugh at themselves and make, can't make light of it. Cause I mean, we're all people, we're all different, right? We all see the world differently. Like I'm on Spectrum, I got a, a ADD or attention, well ADHD. But like, it's like, it's just funny to see how it it, how it um, affects your life. I just find a lot of it just hilarious. Like, you know, it is what it is. You know, you're not going to change it, right? So you might as well learn to live with it, enjoy it for what it is. You know, let's leave the barrage off because that would be bad. And I'll put these on, and I'm going to warlord this. I want to see if I can take this guy out. Uh, probably not, but we'll see. That's H E, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? You just gotta, like, you gotta laugh at yourself. If you can't laugh at yourself, it's you know, if you can't laugh at yourself, you can't. You're not allowed to laugh at anybody else. You know, and that can sound bad. It's like you know, oh, laughing at somebody, but really, it's laughing with them. You know what I mean? So. If you're not, if you can't laugh at yourself at who you are as a person, at your little idiosyncrasies or what you've got going on in your life, you know you can't. You should never be allowed to enjoy the comedy with somebody else, right? Somebody who's making light of themselves. Reporting enemy contact. And I truly believe that, like you know. Like, I would never get mad if someone made fun of my ADHD or, you know, made, you know, funny comments about me being on Spectrum or stuff. Because that's it's just what it is, right? You just have to laugh at it, you know? I mean, I laugh because I, I... My hands aren't the best, right? So some, every once in a while, I'll lose control of one of my hands. And it, it, and I, when I mean lose control, like I'll just drop sh stuff randomly or whatever, right? I just kind of lose control of it. And it's only for brief instances. It doesn't happen all the time. But I still remember pulling a tray out of, uh, <laughs> we were making cookies at Christmas time. And they were, my, my, uh, my youngest and I were sitting there. We made all these different shapes and we made cool cookies. It was like, you know, <laughs> we made, uh, gingerbread men we turned them into gingerbread women we put boobs on them and everything I, you know we, we were putting them in the in the thing or we we're just like having a good old time and then at the end 
we, they were all baked and I went to pull them out and I let go of the tray and they all slid off the tray right in the <laughs> crevice between the where the where the door of the oven <laughs> attaches to the oven they all went right into the crevice <laughs> oh anyway I find it funny because that you know we get upset at it because it's like you know at first I'm frustrated because it's like a oh, crap right I just did that but then you laugh at it because it's done there's nothing you can do about it it's just funny right like it, at that point you just all you could do is laugh and my family still makes fun of me we talk about making cookies it's like yeah you can make cookies as long as you don't put them in the door the, <laughs> as long as you don't leave them in the door of the uh, the oven all you can do is laugh all right let's wreck this J Edgar I mean, everybody's got their funny moments. The thing I don't like is, you know, people getting angry. They got a sensor lock on. Oh, you know, I did, I, I fucked up, and now I'm mad, and it's like, okay, you're mad, so what? Like, get over it. Shit happened. Like, all right, let's sprint up here. I want to get some height advantage. See who we can claim. Um, uh, we're basically here for salvage. So, what do we got back here? Another Hellbringer, Exterminator, Grand Summoner, Prowler, Prowler, Archer. Oh, two Archers. Okay. Another Prowler. That's a fully armored Prowler. Carrier. We can't hit the Carrier, though. All right. Let's just see what we got here. That's full. Oh, we could kill a Zephyr, but we've got <coughs> closer range guys that can do that. Jadgar, we could probably kill. Pegasus, not really a threat. This guy is. We can't use everything on him. Yeah, these guys are just too far away. <coughs> Excuse me. Sure. Don't know if that was a convoy member or not. Looked like it was. So, I'm thinking they might get reinforcements. Somebody's hot loading their ammo. Reporting. I understand. Do you? Glad you do. At least one of us does. Nice. Beautiful. Reporting. One less vehicle. Oh, that's one of the convoy there. Okay. So they had guys mixed in, I guess. Good to go. So I really don't know who's part of the convoy and who's not. I think we're going to go after that Saladin. That's a pretty good chance to hit, though. That won't be a kill, but we might pen the side. Although, I think we're going to take this Saladin. LBX cluster. Okay, nice. One for the Not part of the convoy, but that's fine. So they got 5, 10, they got 20 guys. Okay. Almost, well, technically it's almost 3 to 1 odds. we got a guy that can't move, so. I'm here. Learning to get away from minefields, and I can't anyway. Alright, 
Let this, let's give this guy here a whole lot of FU. I'm going to put the barrage on and hope we don't shoot ourselves in the feet. I have no idea. I think this is a hover transport, so it might be the one we're looking for. <coughs> okay, nice. That got hit. Waiting for orders. Um, let's get up the hill. Got it. You got that rank. It's all about the rack. About the rack. No lasers. Okay, good shooting. Hit, Commander. Thank you. I like it very much. Orders? Oh, yeah. Uh, you can't do anything. You got the Mark II AMS. Uh, yeah, that's probably fine. Most of their most of their guys are too far away from us anyway. Um, yeah. Ooh, not quite enough, huh? Target taken a critical hit. Sure has. Chapa chapa. Maybe we can get enough mech, par mech parts to put a, a mech together. We can sell it. I mean, I'm probably just going to sell the Thunderbolt and the Roughneck. Because we do have one extra mech right now, so we're okay. Thunderbolt and the Roughneck should give us like, what, 1.4 million maybe, or 1.3 million? And there's probably enough missions here to make our financial report. Yeah, that's enjoyable. Join those minefields. Dallas is like, why the hell did you put me over here? Don't worry, I'm moving you back. You gotta take this guy out. Ow. That could have been worse. Okay, who's next? This guy's gotta die. They all gotta die. Wait, is this a second carrier? It is. A weakened one though. We still only got one of the convoy. I'm wondering if the Balak, these two. I don't know. It says hover tank convoy. So maybe it's the J. Edgar and these two? That sounded bad. I mean, it didn't do anything, but it sounded bad. Yeah, more and more now I want to make an AMS mech. We are all inspired. Alright, stability's back. Better chance to hit this guy than I think the guy in front of us. Yeah, it's farther away, so it's a better chance to hit. We're taking it. Yeah, right. Big one missed. We're going to bring the AMS bot up there, I think. Yeah, because it's, it's misleading, right? When you look at the battle from this position, we look a lot closer together, but we're not really. All right. Commander. Who do we want to wreck this time? Probably this guy. Oh, 
Well, that's the last of the escorts. Okay. the weekend there we are you don't have enough, a enough AMS to protect against that buddy clan clan LRMs are so OP I don't care that you can't use specialized ammo it's really irrelevant All right, don't shoot our guy in the back of the head. Uh, are we wound up? We're wound up. Okay, beautiful. Not enough to kill, but that's good. We'll take that. Let's move over here. Maybe we can draw a bit of fire. It's funny. We still got that Hades. We had that. We got that a long time ago, and it was like our main tank. And now it's got to stand at the back. It's still functioning, though. Still functioning. Orders. Um. That should get almost everybody in AMS. Roger. Now, who are we shredding? You know what? Let's just finish this up. Of course there are. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. But from where? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. We'll grind them all up. Uh, yeah, taking those. I think that was a leg hit. Enemy Should be going down. Yeah, beautiful. Detected. Yeah, like I said, if we can get a dedicated AMS mech that can just stand like in the center of us, we spread out around it, stands in the center with the advanced AMS, AMS Mark II, like a bunch of AMSs. It should. Why didn't it fire? It should just shred anything, any anything incoming. Can't get to where we want to go. Oh, there's a guy up on the hill here. Archer, pack hunter. So those must be the reinforcements must be coming from there. Okay, that's out of range. Oh, we got HE on. That's why. Derpily derpity derp. Uh, that's probably not the best way to do that. Although we could probably kill him. Let's just kill him. Or try to anyway. We not hit it all. Reporting negative damage. Wow. Dude. Whatever you smoke is pretty damn powerful. Alright, are we out of we're out of turn here? Okay, so they got three guys left, so it's most likely the uh the chopper, the carrier, and the and the tank. The multi powered multi terrain vehicle. The chopper is a tag death waiting to happen. The two hellbringers on this side. Or the Hellbringer, Grand Summoner, Exterminator, those guys should go down pretty quick, I think. Yeah, Balak's following the road. So that's a tag death.
if we get lucky, one of these guys will pull within Gundal range, and he can take a take a pot shot at him. I got the arrow tag, although I think you got to be within 500. I think it's 510 meters, half a kilometer. So salvage wise, out of this, I don't know if we can put if we can get enough pieces for a mech. I'll take a mech because we're getting six, right? There's three archers here, so we, we we should be able to assemble an archer. You are not. Okay, the AMS Mark II is not firing. Maybe it's only got a certain percentage to fire? Oh, stop it with the minefields. Okay, we gotta kill that carrier. I'm under heavy fire. I see that. We all see it. Oh, the archer's standing up. Yeah, see, that's why I like the clans, man. They don't retreat. They're not running, you know? I'm here. Uh, wow. The hyper laser. I keep forgetting how far a range the hyper laser has. Uh, jump out of the minefield. That's pretty low. Even worse. Alright, we should be able to finish this guy up. Did we get his torso, or what did we get? Looks like his other arm. Couldn't get the leg, huh? That should have been a kill. But at that range, I mean, it's tough. Um, uh, I don't know. We could Warlord it. Oh, yeah, no. That's, uh... He's got... It's an LRM-80 Thunder. Let's kill him. Oh, that's not enough. Yeah, but you didn't kill him. Back up, make it harder for them to hit us. Hopefully we got someone else that can go take that carrier out. Maybe the Rack 2s? There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's see if we get it. No, not quite. I think I hit something good. Yeah, but you didn't kill it, man. I think the rack too is just underpowered. There we go. Roger. All right, this will be a multi-target. Oh, we can't multi-target. Yeah, let's see if we can clear this guy up. Reporting critical hit. You have orders. 
I need a kill though, buddy. I need a kill, not a critical hit. There we go. There we go. Let's finish him up. Let's leave the barrage off though. Good. Oh, yeah! Well, well. <laughs> Let's leave this off just in case we get a chance to use it again. Ah, well. Oh, what do we got back here? We better put a jump jet in, you mean? Maybe we take that tag arrow and put it in somebody else and put you a jump jet. One is all you need, buddy. One jump jet. It gets you into the fight. So maybe I do that. I think the tag arrow can go somewhere else. Infiltrator. He's an infiltrator. See ya. That would just be, I think having that mech on someone with multi-target is just OP. You just like rip people apart. It's better to have it single focus like that, I think. I feel less guilty about it. Although I, I say that now, but then once we get up into higher five skulls, I might not be saying it. All right, Mastodon. You got the AMS, why is it not firing? That's what I wanna know. Jump you up here. That's some good jumping, buddy. That's some good jumping. Um, God, this guy's got like nothing left. Actually, let's put the 15s on B and everything else to A. All right, nice shredding. This should kill him. Yeah. One less target. Nicely done. We got one vehicle left. It's this hover tank here, the Prowler. Come on, stop shooting Dallas, man. Oh, okay, that was really bad. Okay, we need to put an AMS on that guy. <laughs> AMS on on that mech and a jump jet on uh, the other one. Oh, Nidhogg, great. Oh, good. So we're facing 25 guys in total in this battle. Although several of them were under strength, but still, 25. Definitely would have been difficult if we were all 65 tonners. Come on, buddy. Decide what you're doing. I don't know if he's one of those super rocket guys or whatever he is, but we're going to have to kill him fast. I think everyone's going to target him next turn. Can't let him get close. That vehicle is way too far away to, uh, for us to worry about at this moment. Although this archer really close could be bad too, so. I mean, nothing the Rack 5 can't handle though. Yeah, here they all come. All right. Fire at the AMS guy, perfect. Got 20 of them, all right. The only thing I can, I can uh, 
be certain about of this Assure fast reconnaissance vehicle is that I can assure it's going to die. <laughs> ah. Thanks for showing up, buddy. There's another one. Another prowler on the prowl. Okay, here comes the main prowler. I don't know whether they just, they just don't like that hyper laser or what the deal is. Mongoose. It's not that guy I'm worried about. Alright, uh... Yeah, I'll get a bit of splash damage in. Might as well Warlord it because we got good chances to hit. Get some m more damage on this guy. Firing. Beautiful. Commander. Moving to position. Okay. I think it's going to be the Prowler most likely, but let's have a look around here. Pack Hunter. It hogs a no go. This prowler, we might be able to shred this one. Let's go after this guy. Soften him up a bit. He's their last hope to win this battle. I wonder where our extraction point is. I never really looked at the beginning of the battle. Not that it matters. I mean, we're not leaving, but... I wonder where it is. Wait, what's that guy at the back? Well, that's the Nidhogg. Sorry. Alright, let's see what we got here. I think we should go after this gunship. Oh man, tough choice. I have no idea what he's got. Um, let's just rotate. 69 on this guy, eh? Let's kill the Prowler. Go with the for sure one. Enemy unit destroyed. Okay. Oh well, I, now that we can't extract anyway. Yes, even if we even if we had to go, we can't because we got our guy stuck up there. Consider it done. What's up, buddy? What is up? Confirm this. Hit him with everything. I understand. Looks like we killed that vehicle. Yeah. Prowler, that little... Uh, yes, told you I, I could assure that he was going to die. <laughs> uh, we're in a position where we can't... Uh, Alright, uh, 28, huh? Yeah, look at all this ballistic and missile. That's probably a kill, but he's only got an LRM-10. Sniper artillery is gone.
Yeah, we got lousy chances to hit, but... That guy could be dangerous. Hopefully the Rack 5's not jammed. Okay. I'm listening. Beautiful. Uh, let's fire a maneuver. Uh, yes. Here you go. Get down into the trees. Okay. Don't know if we got the juice enough to finish up that Nidhog. Whose turn is it now? They still got a Grand Summoner back here somewhere. It's probably the Nidhog going now. It's why it's so, so choky trying to decide what he's going to do here. Hopefully he moves closer. We still got another rack of uh, 70 LRMs to go yet. Oh, he didn't move. Well, good for us. So they got what, 4, 8, 10 left. Ow. Don't tempt fate. Yeah. Uh, yes, please. Let's try and remove this guy. At least stop him from moving in anyway. That hit something good. Just stay right there. I want you to get your stability back, please. Can't afford anyone going down. Man, this guy's taking some punishment. Ow. Stop shooting me! Okay, who do we have left here? Hellion's gone. Mastodon's gone. Oh, we're done. All right. We are done. Phase 16, or phase, uh, sorry, round uh, 16. Comes the archer, turning his side. Come on, shoot, uh, shoot Gundal over here. He's feeling a little lonely, a little neglected. At least it's one mech we don't have to fix after this battle. Oh. Okay, maybe he's getting stability back. It's not going to save him, though. Okay, we need to lose a Nidhogg and the Archer this turn. This guy's a little too close. This PPC is annoying, but... Not, nothing that we really have to worry about. I'm going to let Gundal go first. Looks like he's going on 24. See if we can get a, a pot shot at this Archer. Yep, we can. Take it. Actually, what's the pack under? Yeah. Oh, we hit with one. That's nice. All right. Let's clear them up. God, this mech is like a guaranteed killer whoever he's shooting at most of the time. 
All right, this archer wants to fire from close range. We can do the same thing. Let's do it. Told you we gotta remove this archer. Here it comes. See ya. You enjoy that LRM 140? Bet you didn't. Oh, we're jammed. That's fine though. Got some good stuff to fire at this guy. Okay, he's got a little bit of heat on him. I'm not moving because there's no real reason to. I'm receiving you. All right. Oh. See ya. Target's down. You don't close with us, buddy. Reporting. You know, you don't stay at range either because we got good range, but... Definitely don't close. Oh, we can get that prowler, maybe. Really? I can only shoot him from over here? There we go. Have no doubt. It will be done. HE's not in range, but the... St will the standard be in range? Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of him. So that's four kills this turn. Beautiful. Still got workhorse left. So they got this archer, hellbringer. I know they've got a grand summoner back here and the mongoose. So we killed the reinforcement last with the exception of the mongoose. They're not retreating but they're not moving in either. They know they're up against it. Okay, so this rack 2 is like fired every turn with maximum shots and it's still going. This is crazy, man. They <laughs> they're just walking into like a death firing line here. But these guys are going to make us go get them, I think. Oh, he's moving up on the flank. We're going to have to scout it out, though, I guess. That's the one thing I don't have is a scout mech with, uh, like, a beagle probe or something. Okay. Make it easier for next turn. Is that the Hellbringer? Oh, there they are. There they are! And they disappeared. Yeah. This guy's all yours. Ah, rack jammed again. No biggie. See, this guy just took a rack five. And he's still moving in. He's got the big cojones. Wait, wolf's support lance. They've got one, two, six guys left. And I only know of four. What the hell's back there? Alright, we gotta move in. Time to move forward. Clear this guy up if we can. Engaging target. Don't care how fast you are, buddy. You ain't getting away from that. Not at 25 tons, you ain't. Destroyed. Oh. Mission successful. No! So I guess we have to make sure we get the additional support lances killed first. All right, well, contract payment increased by 35%. That's not going to cover our damage. Damages the Grand Summoner took a lot of damage to the arm. 
see what we got here. Oh, look at the kills. Uh, three archer parts. And we could take the adder parts and sell it. All right, let's see what's down here. We need, we do need, uh, oh, this laser AMS clan. And throw that in for now because we need one of those. Um, we need tracker sensors for the uh, Orion. Got active probes. Battle computer missile tracking. We got the we got the tracking battle computer. SLDF cockpits. Any tracker sensors? I guess not, eh? Clan Guardian ECMs. We're out of ECMs. Remote dispenser. Low level sensor suite. Three uses. That's bizarre. Clan sensors, AMS ammo. Ah, okay, no tracker sensors. You know what? This is really a C bill run. So I'm thinking this is probably the way to go. And whatever we get off these guys, we'll keep. Three adder parts and three archer parts. Okay, beautiful. We'll just do that. So what else do we get here? We've got another archer part. Nice. Pack under part. ER large clan. Excellent. A couple of regular LRM-10s. A couple of clan narc launchers. Uh, battle control system Artemis. Meh. Another partial wing system. That's three of these we got now. Yeah, okay. Okay, 134. Oh, that's not too bad. It's pretty much what we made anyway. Yeah, so let's put those mechs together real quick. See what we can get out of this. So, storage. Uh, where are we here? Heavy archer. Ready. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Adder, ready. Alright. Um, oops. I always do that. Stop it. Stop it. Welcome to the grease pit, man. Okay, let's have a look at the adder first. Looks like it's got a fair bit left. LRM 15 and some ammo. Okay, the narc launcher. Uh, medium pulse, not a whole lot. Barrow and endo, well, Pharaoh anyway, endo, and the endo comes off, doesn't come off. Heat sink, all right, not a lot, but it'll be worth some. Probably about a million, maybe one million two. Yeah, one point two million. Beautiful. Definitely needed that. And the archer. Let's have a look and see what we got out this guy. Looks like it's got his core intact. LRM-20, some beautiful Artemis ammo, medium laser, core, um, endo steel. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's a standard archer, really. Alright, let's trash this guy. That's worth less than the adder. <laughs> All right, well, we can make our financial report anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine. I'll manage the task in between episodes. It shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. We're going to try and get the Orion in for the next battle. Um, and then we'll choose something more difficult for next time. All right, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.